In this video, I'm gonna show you a really new cool feature that came not so long ago on Lightroom called Landscape, which is mind blowing where you can select different parts of the image. Let me show you. So here I am, I've got this very underexposed photo and I really like this. Lightroom is getting better and better. Check this out. So first is I'm gonna open the shadow because we can see what's going on. I'm gonna bring down the highlights and then I'm gonna do my magic black and white point. That's my usual start on any photo. By the way, my name is Serge Remily. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the incroyable city of Paris, France. And I try to make one to two tutorial a week for you guys. So check it out. So I'm just gonna hold on the option key and do my black point here. Boom. So what you want is, you know, if you're on Windows, it's the Alt key. If you're on Mac, it's the option key. You're trying to basically get like three, 4% of black point and then you reveal the photo with the white point. So it's already much better, you know, if I reset it, it it's much better, but check this out. First of all, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna make it straight and then we are going to use the magical, well, let's maybe warm this photo up a lot and add some magenta, yes. We're gonna do that. And now, here is a brand new thing that I love. You click here and you click on landscape now this is local adjustment you click on landscape and it's going to scan the image and it's going to propose you different masking options sky if you over it it's going to become red yes i want the sky architecture architecture i never know it was archi architecture we say in french um so it's the building yes i want that vegetation which is the tree yes i want that and artificial ground yes i want that okay and then i'm going to click here create mask and check this out so now I can go on the sky here and I'm like, okay, that sky, I want it a bit darker, maybe a bit more redder or more yellow. Yeah, maybe more yellow and darker, much darker. Yeah, something like that. Good. The building. So the building, maybe I want them a bit darker, a bit brighter. I think maybe a bit darker is kind of cool. Vegetation. Uh, I want the, the tree to be a bit brighter, maybe a bit greener here. We have the green. And look at that, look at this. So you can go and see the before and after of each mask like this, before and after, look at that change. Or like this, or like this. Or you can click here on this eye and you can see all of the change in one click. So maybe vegetation is a bit more, it's a bit too bright. You have to be very gentle. These are very powerful, powerful um, tools. This one, so whenever you have cobblestone, I love, and don't tell that to anybody, I love to add a lot of clarity and texture to uh, cobblestone. Now, never, never in a million years add clarity to clouds and water. But buildings is kind of okay. Also vegetation, I never add clarity. That's why this masking feature is really cool. Check it out where we are now. Before, after, it's already better, but we're not done. I want to make a little gradient in the sky. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna take a linear gradient and I'm gonna make a big gradient here and I'm gonna darken the top here. Now, remember when you use a gradient, you see the three lines. Whatever you do here on the right is going to be applied in full from the top to the red circle. And then from the red to the white circle, it's going to be on a gradient. And then I show you, for example, I'm going to overdo it. See, if I and if you put your mouse away, you can see that you can see the gradient. So the, the gradient can be big or can be small. I want to make it big and you can make it like this. I don't want it to be so dark. I maybe want to add back some blue in the sky. A bit of blue. Yeah, not so much. Just a little bit of blue. And kind of I like that. So look at this. Bef uh, but you see, the problem is that, look at this, it also influenced the building, the top of the building. I only want to influence the sky. So a little trick here, three dots, intersect mask with sky. If you do that, that gradient will be only applied to the sky. You don't believe me? Are you ready? One, two, three. Boom. Check it out before, after. You see, it only influences the uh, the sky, which is really cool. And on this one, I'm just going to add another gradient here, just here. Remember, we made it brighter, and I'm just going to darken it here, maybe not so much, just so that people look inside of the photo. Last but not least, I think I want to do one more gradient for the sun. Here comes the sun, pom -pom -pom -pom. and maybe just add a bit more yellow for the sun. Or a bit more magenta just for the sun here but you see it's going on the buildings yeah actually it's like kind of cool if it goes and make it really big in that case if you want to put it on the buildings and check it out before all the masking after all the masking let me give you that example 
uh, of more like a sort of a, it's still a cityscape, but it's more water. Check this out. So same thing. You open a shadow, you bring down the highlights, you do your black point, holding the option key uh, on a Mac, alt key on Windows, you do your whites, and then uh, you do your contrast. Good. And then what you do, my friends, what you do is you can do this magic new mask. You go here, landscape. Let's see what we what we get. We, we have the sky, we have the architecture, we have the vegetation and the water. I mean, try to mask this one by one. It's almost impossible. So what am I going to do with the sky? Maybe make it a bit darker and maybe make it a bit more yellowish. Yeah, maybe a bit more yellowish. Cool. And then the architecture. I think I want to do my trick where I add a bit of clarity on the architecture and a bit of uh, a bit of texture. Just that. Never do sharpening on the under of all photo. Just do it using this math, math feature. Vegetation, same thing. I think I want to make it a bit more bright and a bit more green. Boom. And then the water. Now the water, the water, let's see, maybe a bit more blue or more yellow. I think I'm going to go a little more yellow on the water and you'll see. I'm going to show you a trick after. Yeah, a bit more yellow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm still going to add a gradient for the top where I'm going to add back the blue on the top just a little bit and maybe lower a little bit the exposure. Yes. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. I'm going to go here, make a gradient and add a little bit of blue and maybe a little bit of blue and maybe of minus exposure. And let's see here, before, after. Kind of crazy. Now, I want to show you something. Uh, you can do that or you can get for free the presets are under this video, my new AI preset. Check it out. Golden hour, one click. Boom. You're basically done. And then you take this photo here. Let's go for sunset because that was a sunrise. Look at that. Totally different look, but basically one click and you're done. Now, if you use my preset, be very careful to always check your black point. Not too strong. Always open the, the, the video, always open the photo with the whites and then uh, maybe a bit of exposure and play around with the white balance. But voila, in one click, you have that. Okay, make sure you subscribe. I've got crazy videos coming for you and check out my preset. It's for free. It's under this video. Now, why am I giving the preset for free? A lot of people have been asking this because that's the preset I just did a book on London with. The entire book with the preset I'm giving you, not any other ones. I'm now giving my preset for free because I have the hope you will come to one of our workshops or I can coach you one-on-one -on -one, or you can come to my Zoom call. I want to see you work. And yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So for now, I'm giving you the free preset. I'm trying to give you value so that you know that I'm your guy when it comes to Lightroom Photoshop. That's what I'm hoping. That's my postulate. I'll see you in another video.